Mother's Day 20 and the time is 6.01. Oh, no, they're excited. They're so they're excited. excited. The yeah. sun's shining. We all should be excited. Uh, now, the cup may be gone, but the glass is certainly full. As on tonight's show, we're joined by spooky stars of Dead Set, The League of Gentlemen, and now Ghost Stories. It's Andy Nyman and Jeremy Dyson. Come on. Come on. Plus we'll, Suck it up. Come on. <laughs> Plus, we'll also be revealing the housemates' true colours as aura reader Nina Ashby is going to be here. Yeah. yeah, she told me something about my aura already, guys. Really? What? Yeah. No, no. Are you going to save it? Hey, of course, of course. Uh, and it's... Nomination day, everybody. That's right. We'll be exclusively revealing who's been nominated. Exclusively. Later, exclusively uh, later on in this very show. <laughs> As always, we want to hear <laughs> we want to hear your thoughts on our burning issue question. Was Sunshine really going to share her crisps? No. Get in touch on the website. She wasn't going to share she anything. Wasn't. She's not a sharer. Uh, but what about what about the action from last night? There was there, there was hunger and heartbreak for Sunshine when she felt the wrath of the Adams mm -hmm. family. There was international flirting when the house linked up to Big Brother Germany for a penalty shootout. And Shabby's hopes of scoring with Kiva were shattered when she was reminded that she had a boyfriend. Oh, me thinks the lady doth protest too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say was, it was a proper kick in whoa, the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's just take a look. Sunshine? Yeah? You know the Chris, could we open them? Because we're all dying. Yeah, when I've got down. my nails out, I'll bring them out. I've got, like, a little beggar there. Do you want them, Flavio? No, I'm good, thanks, Sunshine. I thought everybody wanted them. That's why everyone's going on. Sunshine, it was the principle of the matter. I'm sorry, but I am sharing them with people. What's more, onto the bricks, dear friends, what's more? Try yeah! God for Harry, England, and St. John! JJ and Josie, how exciting! Well, don't worry about all that. What about England actually winning something? That's more exciting. Anyway, Ooh. what do women know about football? I know quite a lot. I know about yeah. the offside rule. Yeah? Not many women do! Uh, and I also know that Big Brother Germany's goal scorer is a 24 year old aspiring model called Mark who lives in southwest Germany. And I also know it was 36 penalties before if he scored. The winning goal. Oh, well, because I thought I actually knew quite a lot that, uh, that Big Brother started on the 11th of January and lasted oh. for 211 days. But that pales in comparison <laughs> to your kind of stats, babe. It really does, George. It yeah. really does. Uh, anyway, joining us now are a duo who are currently scaring audiences on a nightly basis. Ben and Mario? No. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome the League of Gentlemen's Jeremy Dyson and star of The Dead Set, Andy Nyman. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Yeah. Team one. Looks pretty Hello. scary in here. How are you? Gentlemen, oh, right, let's high five. Nice one. Wow. Let's high five and kiss. Uh, we, mentioned, uh, we mentioned Dead Set. Yes. Andy started Dead Set. Andy, are there any zombies in the house this year? For See me. What we've done there. We've pulled it together. It's very clever. <laughs> yeah. For me, one zombie, shabby. Really? really? Yeah. Why so? Why? Walking Dead. Really? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I think, you know, if, if anybody really, if anybody is a zombie, I would have to say it's probably her. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you said it. That's why I said that's it. That's why I said it, guys. That's why I said it. Uh, now, am I right in saying you're both starring in a, in a West End show at the moment called Ghost Stories? No, we're not, but we've both written it and directed it. Am I right it. in I'm saying you've both written and directed it? <laughs> you're right! In the Ghost Duke Stories. of York's Theatre. Yeah. Well, we've actually got a little clip of that right now, guys. Intense is the word. He was scared. He screamed the loudest. It's definitely the scariest thing I've ever seen. I'm scared to go home, seriously. I refuse to go home right now. Keep telling yourself it's only a show, huh? I think it also applies to Big Brother, guys. <laughs> that looks incredibly yeah. scary. Why do you like scaring people so much? I think it makes you feel alive, doesn't it, when you've survived something that makes you really scared. So it's a great buzz. OK, so that's why people come out of the, the house and they feel invigorated about life. 
They've been scared. They've been yeah, scared. I think so. so. Come I think you know what? So. If I've gone through this, if I've beaten this challenge, I can do anything. I can do take anything. anything on. Yeah. Uh, now, Jeremy, before yeah. Nuts set, magazine, before... I can take that on. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you were developing an idea for a haunted big brother? Never mind an idea. I wrote two scripts and really? then he came along in his thing and that was it. I kill, he killed came along in his Charlie thing. Charlie Brooker, let's Stole blame Stole it from yeah. me. Yeah. No, because it's the creepiest place in the world. The, 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 big, the big brother, brother house. house. Yeah. And so I just had the thing of, well, if you took it and actually you put it somewhere isolated. So I just put it on a, an island in the middle of the Thames. But it was all remote, so there were remote right. cameras. So Imagine no... how much better than Dead Set that would have been, guys. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what are you now... cheering for? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cheer anything, Andy. Don't cheer anything. <laughs> and now, the, yeah, the fear of the unknown, obviously. Uh, it's a big part of, uh, of Ghost Stories, which is actually currently on in the West End at the moment. Duke of York's theatre. Uh, um, uh, but how much, how much does it relate to the Big Brother house, the fear I, of the unknown? I think it's huge. And for me, the, always watching, you know, over the years, the biggest moment of fear has got to be pre-eviction, standing on the other side of that door, hearing the cheers, or even when you're in the house, hearing hearing what they're shouting. There was a moment with uh, sunshine. Yes. Earlier you know, the... We've actually we've got, got that moment. Have you? Yes, we've got we that moment. Have a look. Yeah. <laughs> they hate me. Promise me. Not even for a second did you say get sunshine out. There, no, not at all. They didn't say. If that. anything, they were saying get them all out. Promise on your life, you didn't hear them say get no, sunshine no, out. No, it was get someone out. Yeah, it, was it wasn't get sunshine. someone out. It was get someone out. Uh, anyway. <laughs> she's not, we were just flopping stuff around there. <laughs> Wait, how, how, how much? Sorry. She's not buying she's that for not a second, is she? She's not buying one second. Yeah, they say, get someone out. Not sunshine, love. Get someone. <laughs> she's been really someone today, yeah. hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're always shouting that, get someone out, outside yeah. the house. Um, I, mean, I mean, genuinely, how much is that going to affect the guys in the house? When you hear out all that noise, they do it, obviously, every eviction night. They, they play in the cheers or the, or the respective booths. It must really freak them out, no? Well, sound plays a huge part. I mean, in the show, we use sounds to kind of Back really... On the show. Well, no, it's the parallels between oh, right, the sorry, two. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are certain deep tones that can make feel, people feel really uncomfortable. You can play classical music. Often in uh, underground stations, they play classical music to stop people behaving violently. So any sounds like this are really going to put people on edge, hearing that stuff again and again and again. Uh, paranoia is a massive thing, obviously, mm. as well in the Big Brother house. Um, and they were paranoid today when uh, they nominated for the third time. Here's an exclusive clip of them doing that. <laughs> I'm going to go for a wild card that will shock everyone. She's an immature attention seeker. She's been quite clever in sort of flying under the radar the last sort of three weeks. Getting angry. I'm going to get a night. You better be quiet or I'll get a night. But then I wished that I would have voted for him the first week. But then, come the second week, I voted for him and I didn't feel too bad after voting for him because he kept doing things that made me think, well, actually, I'm glad I voted for you. They constantly flout the rules of Big Brother. It's very hard to spend time with someone that I can't fully trust. And she just doesn't contribute any sort of intellectual uh, s stimulus to the conversation. You've got people that's got to walk miles just to get a bit of clean water. So to not, to not eat what we're given and moan about it when there's starving people in the world I don't like. <laughs> Can I just say, Joe, she's the best person ever been there at house. She's, she's brilliant. Amazing. Like that. Brilliant. She doesn't win it. It's going to be a travesty. But I'm totally neutral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Andy, yeah, the house, it's obviously now third week of nominations yes. on this series. The mind games, are, it's going crazy in there. How are they going to be feeling? It's, it's going to be rife with paranoia, sure. No, I've got to be going mad. And for me, the most paranoia-inducing thing is the tree. Really? Tree you like the tree? Brilliant. Well, I hate it, but I love it. Yeah. Well, I, I think I, I think a lot of people feel feel that way about the yeah. tree, actually. Yeah. Maybe you could rope the tree into the show. Not a bad idea. Which show would that be? I don't I think they, <laughs> you guys have got a show at the moment, don't you? Ghost Stories on the Duke of York's yeah, every yeah. night in the West End. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, if you guys were in the house, I'm yeah. sure you probably wouldn't go in the house, but if you were, how would you play with their minds after nominations? What would you do if you could take the Big Brother role? Well, I did used to do a thing... Uh, oh, no, how would I... If I was Big Brother, you mean, rather than a housemate? I want to know what he was going to yeah. say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us what you would do. No, I thought you meant... If you were a housemate. If I was a housemate, yeah. well, uh, I did used to do this... Thing.